Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can calculate area of a given region with the help of double integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.3, question number 9 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region bound by the given line and curves and then express region area as an iterative double integrals and evaluate the integrals. The lines given in this question are x equal to y, y is equal to x over 3, and y equal to 2. In order to learn this concept, we must know first we must know what is the formula for area through double integrals. And the formula is double integral over the region R. Area is equal to double integral over the region R, dA, where dA is a small patch of that particular area. In the next step, we will learn about these lines. The line x equal to y is a line which passes the ordered pair where the value of x and y is same like 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. You can calculate these ordered pair by substituting different values of x in this equation. x is equal to y and then calculating the corresponding values of y. Similarly, for the next line y is equal to x over 3, we can calculate different ordered pairs like 0, 0, 1, 1 over 3. These ordered pairs are calculated by substituting different values of x in this equation y is equal to x over 3 and calculating the corresponding values of y. Like if you put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 0. If you put x equal to 1, you will get y is equal to 1 over 3. If you put x equal to 6, you will get y equal to 2. The third line y equal to 2 is a horizontal line which passes through the point 0, 2 along y axis. In the next step, we will plot these lines. Please note that x-axis and y-axis are not involved in our boundaries. So I have marked x-axis and y-axis as dotted lines. Now, in this figure, this maroon line is for x equal to y, which passes the ordered pairs like 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 1, and so on. The second line, y is equal to x over 3, is represented with blue color, which passes the point 0, 0, 6, 2, already discussed. And the third line, which is represented by green color, is a line which is for which we have y equal to 2, which passes the point where the value of y axis is 2 here. So our region of integration is bounded by the, these three curves or these three lines is this triangular region. In the next step, I'm going to highlight this region of integration. Please note that the region of integration is always a bounded closed region in which all the boundaries are involved. So in the next step, I have highlighted my region of integration. After highlighting my region of integration, I have to calculate its area. Now, in order to calculate area, we have two possibilities for dA. We can replace dA with dy dx or by dx dy. So in the next step, we will learn these choices. If I will take y as my inner variable then, and x as outer, then in order to calculate limits of y, I will use arrow technique. I will pass vertical arrow through this region. Now, see what happened. This is my first arrow, vertical arrow, and this is my second arrow. What happened with both arrows? And in order to clarify the difference, I have used few dotted lines here, x is equal to and x equal to six. If you pay attention on this region between y axis and the line x equal to two, you can see that your lower limit for y is x over three, but your upper limit of y is x. Whereas for the region which lies between the lines x equal to 2 and x equal to 6 your lower limit is your lower limit of y is x over 3 and your upper limit of y is 2 so what happened here your upper limit varies as you as you pass the arrow through different regions through different areas of these regions in the first case for the portion of this area which lies between y equal to 0, means where y axis, where this is a point y equal to 0. 
x equal to zero and x equal to two, what will happen? Your lower limit remains same, but your upper limit changes. Your lower limit is x over three and upper limit is x. Whereas on the other portion between x equal to two and x equal to six, your lower limit is x over three and your upper limit is y over two. So in order to calculate total area, we have to calculate area of two different portions. And in the end, you can add them. So this was the first possibility. If I use y as my inner variable. Now what will happen if someone choose x as inner variable? Then for the limits of inner variable x, you will pass horizontal arrow. Now you can pass a horizontal arrow in the upper portion of this region, maybe in the middle or maybe in, from the bottom. In all the three arrows, you can see these arrows enter through the boundaries where the value of x is y, and these arrows exit through the boundary where the value of x is 3y from this equation. So there is no change in the limits. But what happened in the previous case? Your limits varies. And please note that your ultimate target is to calculate the area of this shaded region. So the best choice for this particular question is you should select x as your inner variable and y as your outer variable. So the limits of x are y to 3y because your arrows enter through the boundaries, which is indicated by this red color, where the value of x is y and your exit through the boundary, which is represented by blue color, and here the value of x is 3y. After calculating the limits of inner variable, we have to calculate limits of outer variable. In order to calculate limits of outer variable, we have to check the range of region along that particular axis. Along y-axis, your region starts from zero, means origin, and ends at y equal to two. So the limits of outer variable y are zero to two. In the next step, we will evaluate this integral to calculate this shaded area. The integration of dx is x for the limits y to three y. Note that in double integrals, you will always solve inner integral first and then on the outcome of inner integral, you will apply outer integral. In the next step, we will apply upper limit minus lower limit for the mental theorem of calculus. Making the simplification, we get limit from zero to two, two y dy. This two y concludes your inner integral. Now we will integrate this two y with respect to y, which is our outer variable. Integration of y is y square over two. So we have two y square over two for the limits zero to two. Making the simplification, two and two will be canceled out. So we have y square limit from zero to two. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. We will replace y with two and minus, we will replace y with zero. So we have answer of our area as four square units. And this concludes our discussion. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe, share with your peers. Allah Hafiz.